Good morning, friends. We're still continuing our discussion on kind of how the flesh works and want to and and how it doesn't work. And I, I want to draw your attention. Firstly, if you were uh, like me, um, a, a reader of the NIV, the New International Version, that was you know a profound kind of a translation, kind of coming up into you know from the mid '90s, etc. In that, and actually even in the '80s and '90s and stuff. But the NIV, in trying to be more accurate about the flesh, would translated it translated the word flesh to sinful nature. And so we would say, you know, he who sows to his sinful nature will from the sinful nature, you know, reap. But as, as we've seen so far, flesh is a quite a bit more nuanced. And it's a beautiful way that the New Testament uses to describe kind of the multi-dimensions of a human person that are not always all bad. They just won't last. And so as we said, flesh is that which won't last. And it's it's interesting, in the, in the book of Galatians, uh, in chapter six, verse eight, Paul says, the one who sows to the flesh will from the flesh reap corruption or pollution or destruction. That, and the one who sows to the spirit will reap eternal life. Now, it's interesting that that if you say, you know, sow to the sinful nature, well, that's that's kind of an easy sort of binary. It's either good or bad. But flesh isn't always the same in that. So if we're saying that our history that we grew up with and that informs so many things about us and everything is that which will not last versus that which will last with the spirit, then we're saying that I'm I'm actually on a full-time basis. I'm either agreeing with my history and everything and my flesh that's going on with that and that which will not last or, and I'm letting that inform everything that I do, and I'm letting that influence my choices. I'm letting that sort of steer my life. And, and I, when I'm doing that, I'm sowing seeds. And as I do that, those seeds will in time grow up. And if I sow to living in sync with and in submission to the Holy Spirit, then over time, those seeds will grow up into this eternal kind of life, this life that is is the life of eternity that's invaded the now. And and I want to, you know, I, I get to decide how I do that. Uh, Jesus says it a little bit different way, but same, same essential message. Flesh gives birth to flesh. Spirit gives birth to spirit. You know, the flesh. So if I'm in a, if I'm, you know, in a conflict with my spouse or with my kids and I, and I go with all of this train, you know, this, this sort of, uh, momentum that's going on in my soul, and I go with that, and I I just lash out at them. I am I am in my flesh, and it gives birth to a flesh response. So uh, typically, if somebody is, you know, is kind of pushing at us in the flesh, we want to push back in the flesh. And the Lord is saying, if somebody's pushing at you in the flesh, you don't have to you don't have to respond with all of your history, with all those different things. You can respond in the spirit by cooperating and going with the lead of the spirit. But I, what I'm trying to say about that old NIV version is that the NIV was just not, in trying to be more particular, it became less accurate. And the newer NIV versions, uh, well, actually, <laughs> the new new international version, actually kind of you know updated that and got it right. Again, we're in this discussion so that we are walking in the spirit and not in the flesh. And that's where the sweet spot is. That's where God's eternal life sweet spot is in the now. So let's go for that. Again, this is just more of a bigger discussion. Thanks so much for joining me today. I love you.